struggling awful. All right, I'm gonna show you my version of uh, the running pole set. Started doing it last year. Got one for one set I had, so we're gonna give it a try again and see how it works. First thing I, first thing I did, put a killer clip, which is uh, one of these things you can buy. You nail it onto the tree, your trap hooks right onto there. It's already on the tree, so we don't have to do that. It's on there from last year. Okay, now we'll put it on the tree on the fourth clip. Like so. There. Now, use a little wire, secure it to the tree. There, like so. Now, you want to use a big chunk of meat, some kind of meat. Beaver, I uh, used last year. Beaver season's not open yet, so I don't have any. Or, so I'm going to try this big old, old tame duck that went bad, and it's uh, it's pretty fresh, but no good to eat. So. that right above the trap high enough so the trap can spring without hitting it but yet close enough where it entices them through the hole Gras Fisher Gitter this is what I used last year I'm gonna keep using it caught one so here we go Just put it up above the bait the, the piece of meat There's a set, running pole set for a fisher. Hopefully they'll go up that and uh, get caught. This is a set up close. Uh, here you can see your uh, killer clip. That's how that hooks into there. And then uh, that's 220, body grip trap. Nice piece of meat up above for bait. And then the fisher getter above that. But, uh, hopefully it works. About a four or five inch pole in diameter. Lean it up, it's kind of steep. I don't know if that's the proper way, but it worked for me last year. Uh, 
no way for the uh, fisher to get down from up above have to come down up the pole so we'll see what happens